Thank you, Kate. And I know we need to keep it brief because we want time for questions as well. Um, I'm stepping in for Emma and Sheila from the long table. I had an email here from Emma saying that uh, she's stranded with a flat tire and a boot full of herbs somewhere near Miserden, which is just outside Stroud. Uh, would like to have been here, but I'm, I'm covering for her. Um, so inspiring to hear all these stories of the ways people are using OFN to, to move towards food equality. Um, what, what I'm reflecting on is that it, it used to be that that farmers markets were for people who could who, who had scruples and who could afford to pay for you know, local food and that people who were in people who couldn't afford to pay for local food local food would end up at food banks and what's seen now is our food hubs that are buying as in kate's words food for everyone and that really excites me with with pay it forward schemes with um i'm, I'm getting a message that's saying that i'm unstable am I, is my video is my audio working okay Kale? um it was a little bit glitchy so maybe you might want to um do this with your video off yeah. it. <laughs> let me know if it's still bad and i'll try something else um so yeah just really glad that we are moving towards food equality let me tell you a little bit about long table um similar to a lot of projects that we've heard about this afternoon um they initially set up uh, the, the long table was actually a literally a long table in a, in a warehouse where they they cooked uh, surplus food from local farmers and growers. Um, people were invited to come along and help cook the food. People who were out of work, people who were homeless came and helped with the, with the preparation. And then everybody, anybody who was interested came and sat down and, and ate the food together. And some people ate for free, some people paid to eat, some people paid and didn't eat. Um, but the whole thing was was just let's all sit down together and have a long table let's sit down and, and share food together obviously the pandemic changed that um their model now is to again source surplus food from local farmers growers and other food producers um some of that food is then distributed fresh uh, but the bulk of it now is is frozen as ready meals and they have a system called freezers of love and the freezers of love are uh, 16 different freezers around the community, some in church halls, some in people's garden sheds, um, some in community centres. Um, and the system is that you can go, anybody can go and take a meal from the freezer and anybody can make a donation. And again, there is no link between the donations and the, and the meals. So some people eat for free, some people pay and don't eat, some people take a meal and, and pay the cost price of it. Uh, some of the freezers have microwaves beside them so people who are homeless can come and take a frozen meal heat it up and eat it on the spot and the way they're using the open food network is in two ways one is to make those freezers of love visible uh, we're in the process of setting up a map so that people can can see where these 16 freezers are they can click on the map they can find uh, exactly where it is the contact details when it's open when it's available uh, what's in stock in that particular freezer um, in terms of um, what whether it's a meat meal a vegetarian meal allergens all that sort of detail um, and then either order it online or or just arrange to 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 pop in and pick up um, pick up a meal and at the same time the option to make a donation but there's no link between the, me <laughs> the meal and the donation the second way they're using the open food network is to link with suppliers so uh, in stroud where i'm based there are probably about 80 different suppliers feeding into the, the stroud co food hub and some of those suppliers will have surpluses so as well as selling produce through the food hub they will make surplus produce available to the long table and it just makes it a lot easier for the long table to know where the surplus courgettes are and where the surplus beans are and, and what is available and they can then arrange to get that produce to the central kitchen um, again on a completely donation basis free basis and the produce is then prepared into into ready meals okay i'm going to stop there i'm really happy to take more questions but i know you're tight for time so let me hand back to you